Hey folks, Frank the Pesky here. What we got is a leaf pile up against the house and the tech was out here last week. He serviced the house, he noticed we had some big headed ants. Comes back this week to do a follow up because they were heavy, the customer had complained. And we're seeing the big headed ant all over the place. We moved back and you can see them, they're crawling all over this. We pulled up, we pulled back the leaves. He pulled it back and says, man, there's tons of them. And you can see on the ground, there's our scatter bait. And normally this would handle it. Well, guess what? They're not taking the bait. And usually if I put out the bait, even if it's in the middle of the day, in the morning, in the afternoon, they're picking it up. They're not picking this bait up. He put some liquid gel bait to test and let it run down so he can test the gel bait. And they started taking, he sent me a picture, but they're not taking this right now. So my suspicion um, is gonna be that they're switching their preference, their feeding preference. And they might be switching it to glucose, which means we're gonna have to come out here and install uh, glucose liquid and stations to control this problem. This is a major problem. And look how much, look how much organic matter there's there and they're in the ground. Look how many ants they are. We just treated this last week. Um, the problem that you have with big headed ant is this is where it's visible. This right now in this area that we're in, which is called Color Bay, Palmetto Bay, um, all this area. When you have a big headed ant, let me switch over the camera. It's all over the yard. The problem is you can't see them because they're underground and the grass covers them and you're not going to see them there. But they're all over. So if we're going to go over here, we should be able to see some here too. And there's not a lot. It looks like there's other feces in there, but not. Eh, we got a crazy ant running around. Here he is, he put some liquid bait there too. So he found the hole. We just need to seal that hole up because there's gonna be a nest inside that house. So I'm gonna take my caulk gun and we're just gonna seal that hole to stop them. But we got a problem. It looks like they're taking the glucose bait but not the granular bait and they switched their feeding pattern. This is why people will say, you know, you were out here and you must not be doing a good job because the last time you got control of it and this time you didn't, you know, you need to put something stronger. It's not about putting something stronger. If the ant changes their feeding habit and the only way really to control this ant is with either liquid or granular bait, then what we gotta do is this is where my expertise comes in, where the tech was out here, the tech informed me, hey, listen, we treated it we liquid, we treated it with protocol. We did a liquid application of a non-repellent uh, product in, in the, uh, around the perimeter and we showed up this week and all these ants are still here. The tech didn't fail, the product didn't fail. We now have to change our tactic uh, to control this ant. And this is where a professional pest control guy knows this, understands this biology, understands this behavior, understands the chemistry, and understands the relationship between the chemistries of products he can apply. He did a liquid application with a non-repellent, and he did a bait application. Two products, and he still failed to get control. Well, this is the stuff we need to know when we're in the field and when the technician fails, he calls me immediately and says, I don't know what's going on here. <laughs> and he tested with the liquid. He did what he was supposed to. He said, let me test with the liquid and see if they'll go after it. Well, they're going to feed it. The problem is that's not nearly enough liquid to control this ant problem. We have to put a station with four to eight ounces of liquid because in temperatures, this is going to dry out. And if you put gel bait, gel bait will be dry within hours and hard the next day and they won't eat it. So it won't be enough for them. So now we need to come and install some stations out on this property to get this done correctly. Because like I said, when you get a big headed ant problem, that colony, this sounds ridiculous. Look it up, prove me wrong. 
go to every entomology site, whatever entomology site you want, University of Florida, which is the number one in the country, go to UC Berkeley, go look up big headed ant and see that you can have a colony that goes up to 30 miles with thousands and hundreds of thousands of nests along the way. They'll take an entire area like this. We got it now in Palmetto Bay, Cutler Bay, Pinecrest, Florida. Um, and this is a major problem. These houses now have to be converted to a monthly service because granular bait will not last more than a couple of days. Once it gets hit by the irrigation, once it rains, the bait is damaged. A liquid treatment on a non-repellent isn't going to last two to three months. It's only going to last maximum 30 days because we have an alkaline soil and that high alkalinity neutralizes the product very quickly. On top of that, there's UV rays and there's water that's alkaline that's either coming out of the irrigation system that neutralizes the product. So we cannot get control of these difficult ant situations with a quarterly basis and expect not to have a problem. Once these houses have big headed ant, they have to be converted to monthly in order for us to be able to put out and come in and put the product and that the product will last. And then if we need to put liquid ant stations, liquid ant stations in the heat is going to evaporate, get hard. It's going to be damaged and we have to come back and replace that bait. So these difficult ant situations, when you are dealing with a large scale company that has a lot of turnover of technicians, doesn't have an expert on staff immediately that can get and address the situation, you're never going to get the control. This is why we get these calls and we get these customers because they've already had two to three counts or two to three companies dealing with this and they haven't been able to do it. This is Frank the Pest Geek wishing you a spectacular day.